Hello friends, welcome to my channel Tech IT Insights. Today I am going to discuss about the civil open AI benefits and tips, PMPR methods and details. Let's start the video. So I have already explained the part one architecture point of view. What are the basic steps we need to follow and go through that first part one video and we'll see this uh, second part two today i'm going to explain for the which i told you the first step civil opening has many hidden gems which that makes your life easier if you know the some basic uh, syntax of the civil opening like you know most of them are uh, you know syntax which they will follow uh, like in terms of civil c scripting point of view or civil anything so we are writing in the civil opening point of view First, we need to initiate the civil app dot s underscore app, which help you. So, what is the civil apps? So, civil app, you know, there is a civil app is likely a representation of the civil application itself. Civil app is commonly used for access various functionality within the application. So, that's why first in a open AI point of view, civil app dot dot s underscore app so s underscore app is nothing but it could be refer the civil application object module represent responsible for handling the civil application level operations so that's why if you in order to write any kind of if you are writing a civil open a functions you know calling you need to follow the civil app dot s underscore app so here, for example, we see the get view, get active view. So get name. In order to get in open a level, the active view. So we need to follow the civil app that will be we can get the what is the get active view. For this, in order to continue, you can see for example, civil app dot app get view active get applet map name. So for this, you need to go to the application and you have to click the right click inspect more and you can see the source here you can see the console here console level you can see you can enter here you can make the range like this and you can find you can run the command like this you can see civil app s underscore app get view get active view so get name what is the view i can get it through open a so in order to anything uh, in open a you can type civil app app so you can get it like this and s underscore app is so here you can get the if it is a applet bc level method bus com b bus object so what are the uh, you want you can see the automatically methods funds it will come here what are the how you want to call it here this all the commands if you use these commands you can get it the minimum suppose you, you can see for example i want to get the get active command which you want to run it so take this civil active view get active update mode get mode right click you can see here you can see you can clear it here and drop it so what is the it is edit mode so what is the uh, act to update mode so you want to get it by using this you can get the what is uh, update mode so here uh, for example you want to get this object business object name so you need to first you need to know the first basics how to get any objects name or fields you need to know the some syntax so that's the reason here you need to know the basics how to get the field values and what is a field value you know to get it get was come active mode so you can you can see here so for example uh, you want to get the get in the, in the bo what is the bc you want to get a civil app sns graph get active view and get push come get name so that you will get the name here some tips you can see here what i'm here get update name url 
and you want to see the profile at profile attributes in Isabel application in uh, OpenAI also we can set the profile attribute. You can see you want to get the profile set the profile attributes. You have to set the profile attribute. The application the application app SNS set profile attribute. So order ID you want to set it. So you have to set the value. And you want to get it here the value has set now you want to get the profile attribute you can get here you can write the get profile attribute so here it will work so but here it is not getting the value because of sample before this profile attribute in an application side you need to set the very important parameter in the in terms of your profile attributes you need to in the object manager level you need to set this edit profile attribute is called true. Then only in our civil application, this profile attribute works. In this is the CFG parameter. In the same way, indicate that simple we are adding the edit profile attribute equal true in the user interface sections, right? We need to do the same kind of configuration object manager level, component parameter level you need to define. So you need to First, if it, the, it is not set as true, then your profile attributes will not work. And you can see the some of the more example of the syntax. Civil app get active, active, active control. And you want to hide this list control, you have to follow like this syntax. So you can see the example which I have. The PM value, you want to get this PM dot get control. You have to PM dot execute to check the whether you want to control the build downs and control presentation of the current applet. Get control. So ch check to check the whether applet is valid or not. So is the PM dot get is query mode. These are the first trip and then you come to the trip num here. You can use this pm dot get bus object get sort specification get parent bus com name by using this and you can see the pm dot get bus com parent bus com get field map so get bus object get parent of the PC field you can get it here so be before that we in the CPL open EA, so in the PR representation you can see what are the methods and how it is get executor. So here we can see the framework of the PR level, the life cycle. So render that, first render and initiate to show a bind events, bind data, attach a PM. So these are the end. Whenever you define any PM or PR, in the PR level, this is methods, the flow of the execution, we can see this uh, PR level, where first method is render. So this method, to create a render of the render of the UI here in it is method to allow to override any method decide and uh, PM by calling to the initiating method so we can call here PM before it call initiate init method de deliver to the PM show UI method control to display the physical re controller that relevant any applet control so for example Civil UI render the any list update we have UI level rendering so that will con control back to the update. So here bind event also in a user interface whenever he is doing that any events methods like any uh, on clicking on button on any HTML element. So that in this cases you need to use the bind event. So here bind data uh, is a nothing but a, like in you know, a downloading the data in times of he want to do the uh, render to the server, he has to go to the proxy and he has to download the any kind of data by using, then we can go to write in bind data. So attached PM binding is handling the notification, get PM, like in execute the method on control event, get properties at properties cases, we have, we can define in this section. So end this, at least by end statement, of physical rendering is complete life cycle will follow like this. This is the PR life cycle. Now 
you can see the how we can call the business service pm pr by using the civil open ai so first in, the, in terms of civil open ai so any custom business service or vanilla business service so you want to call it first we as we know that we need to register this business service in the application level user property whereas client service name and service name so once we define that it will be go to the like you have to follow the syntax similar like you know e scripting point of view how you are following the similar here also we need to follow like this so see where civil app as app get service which is business service name and whereas inputs civil as property set similar civil app property set we have to define here that invoke method method name and the output how to have to define and the rules set so here all output we are getting that will be a, a set of rule set we can say get chain by type this is it will define the rule set of the property if you want to make the alert kind of information of business service not found you can define like that you can make the default navigation tab layout as we already told that tab layout user interfaces we can use it this is a vanilla one how you want to use your tab layout user preferences so here you here you can go to the user preferences and tab layout behavior you can put her or uh, latest version has different different you have to tab tree such a so basically i said it is this is sample application that's yeah so one tab layout and behavior we have set it here and tab layout also you want to make what are the schemes you want you can set it tab layout as well so user preference this is the scheme which we want to do want to set the default navigation navigation tab you can set it like using the cfj parameters infra ui framework default navigation tab you can set it for example to you can restart the company then it will get restarted here then so for ex how to hide the co columns in the update level conditional by using civil opening these are the you need to follow the syntax so bind data section we need to find that first apply that this dot arguments on console dot log file to if my hide column equal to y this dot grid grid hide control and get account grid based on the column value will get it here you can see this console log file where you can see first create a pr new pr file you need to check this uh, as i told you in the pm uh, template level so you can use this one you can get it the value it, uh, in terms of you can see this between the button and you can see the clear cache after that you can see the output here so i will show you one as one or two example how we can get it this here and as i told you already this user property so now we need to set it for example the main important how we want to see the debug this open ai we'll see first of all first tips we need to follow the how to debug the open ai go to here and you can go to the inspect so you click suppose inspect you can see source here you can put debug mode here debug mode so it clicks here automatically debug mode will get open here then you can see this watch window how it is getting loaded your file you can see here and there is a shortcuts you can see it will give automatically f9 steps and we'll go to the step out and we'll see this step into the next function and it will go to the step over the next function call so you can see here resume the for execution script so you can see one by one how i am doing whenever you executing the script so automatically 
this how your code is giving the return the value you can see here the and you can see this in the variables whatever this arguments are passing elements you can find this how it is executing how what is the value is written here if the function is executed what is the element in the variable level you can see like this it will give the in watch window level the output of the value after execution you can find these values here any code has error is there it will show here suppose you have any code error is comes to give the error here and see written this is how we are debugging the open ai so the length so video video will be coming lengthy so i will explain next video few example how requirement basis we are doing i will explain next video thank you guys stay with my channel please subscribe my channel next video i will explain the few requirement based open ais with examples thank you guys